everybody. I'm chilling today. I'm sorry. My hair look a mess. Let's just jump right in to this little mukbang situation. Mukbang. 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 Muk. Muk. I'm finna eat. Um, wait, let me fix this. Okay. This way you can see my food and my face. Uh, hey, y'all. Okay, so firstly, I want to plug this amazing restaurant that I got my food from today. It's called Mickey's Retro Grill. If you are in Chicago, it's near 82nd and Stony. I know it's not on 82nd and Stony. Maybe like 81st. But it's amazing. You cannot find it on maps at the moment. But they do have a high park location that you can find on maps. And you can call them and get that info off of there. Oh, I forgot to mention the best park. They are black owned. And they are so sweet. So sweet. Super sweet people. Quick food. You know what I mean? Like you don't you're not waiting forever. And good food. Like fun fact about myself. I'm a complete klutz and I just drop food all over myself all the time. So yeah. I'm gonna be eating kind of fast because I have to go to my brother's house. Not my blood brother. But he might as well be. He irritating enough. When he finds out that I'm recording this video instead of being on the way to his house. It's gonna be irritated, but he won't find out for weeks. <laughs> so, oh, I was saying, I have some honey barbecue wings here. I think it's pretty gross to like listen to people eat. But this is a mukbang. Mukbang. Muk mukbang. Um, just look at that. And I like the fact that I just did my nails. Eh? Eh? Are we feeling it? Yeah, I think they're cute. But in honor of me doing my nails today, I figured I would talk about what it's like being a nail tech <coughs> and like my pet peeves and um, I guess like most irritating stories, I guess. I don't know. I hope any, none of my clients are watching this, but I'm going to talk about my experience as a nail tech. Wait, first, I'm going to tell y'all a story. Okay. So, I was out getting snacks for this video. And, um, when I walked in, it's this dude, typical Chicago dude, with dreads and Tim's and a um, Columbia jacket. Hilarious. And he was super mad. He was like going off on the gas people. He was like, this fool is fine. Okay, Mickey's. Like, dang. Anyways. He was pissed. And he was just like, oh, fool, man. I swear. Why are you doing this, man? And I'm just looking like, I mean, it sucks to suck, bro. Like, get over it. First of all, I'm not tripping because cause sometimes when people be screaming in stores in Chicago, uh, it's best that you just leave. Because you never know. <laughs> you never know. But I wasn't tripping because I'm like, there's only two things you can get from here. Gas and snacks. He cannot be shoot a store up mad about snacks or gas. There's just no way. So I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my chips. I'm trying to get my cookies. He get up to the window and he said, Oh, I heard you on my chair. He said, Man, I swear, say something. Say something so I can get crazy in here. I fire this whole place up. I said, Oh, okay, never mind. Goodbye. Two. Oh, all I wanted was some cookies that had been sick. Not for end my life over no cookies. I got a purpose. I got a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. No. No, no, baby. He left before I did, but I'm like, uh-uh. I need to go. Jesus is Lord. Do you hear me? On to the point. The main topic. So here's the facts. I love doing nails. And all of my regular clients are great. 
if there is the occasional new client that kind of don't know nothing or don't know the way I do things. And so it's like, they come to the door like, well, I want gel powder this and I want this, that, and the other. And you got OPI, you got this, you got that. And it's like, girl, first of all, you don't even know nothing about the products you're requesting. Like the average person, the average consumer, you have no idea what you're asking me for. You're just asking for stuff because that's what your last person used. Which is not a sin. They got the wings all tucked under the fries, oh God. Yeah, most people don't know what they want or what they're asking for or about the products that they're asking for or about the standard that they put on me. It's kind of like you come in the door like, well, this need to be like this and you need to do this and you need to do that. And for me, it's kind of like, you found me. So I got to be doing something right. Don't come in the door like, you got that OPI, you got that SNS. Like, come on now. I built my business on cash. I have no loans, no credit cards. <clears throat> None of my, no, nothing that funded my business came from anybody else. I worked and paid for my stuff in cash. And so, yeah, no, I'm not gonna have the resources of a shop that has 10 people to make them money. Um, I'm not gonna have the product line that they have but you're going to leave with a bomb finished product. And I just be wanting people to trust me with that. Like, if you're going to come to me, trust me. But if you're not going to trust me, then just don't, you know, don't come. Because it's almost like you make it an uncomfortable experience for everybody. Because I'm feeling like this undue pressure from somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about. And you have already decided to be unhappy with what I produce because of what you see. So it's like... And I'm not saying come in with no expectations. Everybody should have an expectation for what they want. Um, but they getting any service done or doing anything like that. I'm just saying, if you're going to book with me, look at my Instagram. See my work. Let me know what you want. So I can deliver. But don't bully me. Thinking I'm supposed to follow behind whatever made up standards you have about what your what nails should look like like you don't know you don't have a license i do and it's like these are things you obviously can't say to the customer because they're always right but they not they just think they are <laughs> but they're really not <laughs> oh another pet peeve oh hopefully i can help a nail tech with this sentence don't bring your own products to the nail shop if you come into my shop with some Essie polish, with some Sally Hansen polish, I promise you I'm going to tell you I'm not using that. I cannot guarantee the quality of a drugstore brand nail product. That's the point of me having a license so that I have access to products that you don't. So that I can do a better job than what you can. So, leave that mess at home. I don't know why people like mukbangs. It's kind of weird. Another, another, it's not really like a pet peeve. But it's just like, <coughs> it's a reality of the business. It's like people don't understand boundaries. The Saints will call me at 10, 11 o'clock at night. Asking me questions about stuff that's on my website. That's my pet peeve. If it's on my Instagram or my website, please don't text my phone about this. Like, if you have a question about what is there, that's completely different. But it, don't text me like, what's your address? Come on now. Now you know good and well that's in my bio. Don't do that. That's a whole nother soapbox. Don't, like, people feel like as a nail tech, I'm supposed to be at work 24 hours of the day so that whenever they have an emergency, I'm available for it. Well, what my clothes, what you do? You either plan ahead, because you know what time they close, or you wake your tail up when they first open and take care of your business before you got to go to work. Am I wrong? But with me, it's like people feel like 
I'm supposed to just be available. Like there was this post on Instagram one day that I saw and this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in all of my life. She, she straight up said, I hate black nail sex because they want to go to the same parties we want to go to. And they don't want to be, they don't want to work every Friday night, but they want to be at the same parties we at. They want to go to the same events we at. And they don't make themselves available to the time that we want them to be available. And it's like, first of all, I'm 22 years old. If I want to go to a party on a Friday night, I'm going to put on my bio, um, in my bio, I'm going to put on my story. Hey, y'all. Like, there was one Saturday that I didn't work, and it wasn't because I was going out. It was because it was one of my sister's wedding. I put in my story, hey, I would not be working on Saturday. Plan your bookings accordingly. And I love my regulars because they did just that. But then there are people that are like, how you not going to work on a Saturday? How you going to take a Saturday? It's like, first of all, if my one of my close friends is getting married, I don't care what party you want to go to. I'm going to the wedding. Like, this is not my end-all be-all. This is not the epitome of what my, the purpose of my life is. You know what I mean? Like, I love my job. I love my clients. I love my business. But I'm a human being. And I'm not the party type, but, like, there are going to be some Friday nights where I want to go see a musical. Or I want to go, you know what I mean? Like, don't be stupid. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get ready to go. But... Um, I guess I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, book bumps are weird. I feel that way. I'm gonna always feel that way. But I figured now that I'm a YouTuber, I gotta do it one time for the one time. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure that you like the video, that you comment down below on YouTube. Some people comment on my Instagram, which I appreciate you. I love you. But comment on YouTube. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And, um... Oh, yeah. I love you. Bye. Bye.